year two of the King Rice era at Monmouth University starts with a bang. 91-62, the men's basketball team wins over Hofstra on opening night, Friday night, here at the MAC. Coach Rice, huge opening night effort. It seemed like last year the team was at home forever. Tonight you start at home and you get a huge win in front of a great crowd. Well, I guess Coach Callahan got better at scheduling this year by getting us at home. Uh, the crowd was great tonight. Our kids are bought in. They're working extremely hard, so it, it was a special night and hope, hopefully the first of many more to come. It seemed as though the, the, the tenets of basketball that you preach, defense, pressure, scoring and transition, were all on display tonight as your defense played better. That's when that lead seemed to grow, getting easy baskets. Championship teams have to play defense, and I've been talking about it since I've been here, and now the guys have a better feel for how we play defense, and then we have great numbers. We have great numbers. All the kids on our bench can go in and hold it down, and uh, we showed that tonight. I thought we were the fresher team at the end. I thought their kids were tired, and, and we started getting open looks again at the end of the game because we have so many kids that can play. And we noticed that as well on the broadcast. Now, while the lead never got under double figures, when they cut it to 13, you're able to stretch it back to over 20. And it seemed as though, like you said, the numbers and also the conditioning was the factor there. Well, I've been with these kids for a long time. And when they changed the rules this summer that we got to stay and work with them this summer, I think it, it really helped our team. And uh, they'll probably be mad. But after a summer like that, we'll probably be doing it again next summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, huge opening night win now. Uh, you have to put that behind you, as I'm sure all coaches do, and you have a pretty formidable challenge ahead of you, ahead of you Monday night when you go to Notre Dame. I'm not putting it behind me yet. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have Notre Dame. I have a lot of respect for Mike Bray. He's been great there. He was great when he was at Duke as an assistant, and then Delaware. Uh, major respect for him. I know some of their players, uh, but our team is going to go out and play Monmouth basketball, play tough defense, get out on the break, and we'll see what happens. Coach, and just one final question. It seemed as though after Andrew Nicholas's huge performance, a lot of balance scoring, a lot of players in double figures, and it was spread out, as you said, that deep bench really came to play, and that's something that the fans uh, didn't see as much of last season just by numbers, like you said, but this year looks to be a strength. Well, we, we can score the ball. Every guy that's out on the floor can shoot it uh, at different positions, and, it, and we're hard to guard, and we'll get better. OK, but we have a lot of shot makers on this team. And tonight was Red's night. And then Jesse got hot for a couple late. And uh, this team is going to be a fun team to coach. We just have to keep working so we can get better. Well, Coach, it was a fun team to watch and a fun team to broadcast on Friday. Congratulations on beating Hofstra and good luck moving forward against Notre Dame. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to all the Hawk fans for being out here tonight. That's Monmouth head coach King Rice. His team, victorious opening night, 91-62 over Hofstra. One of the main reasons Monmouth's men's basketball team is 1-0 to begin the season is this guy right here, Andrew Nicholas, a career-high 28 points in the Hawks' 91-62 win on opening night over Hofstra. And, Red, let's just get right into it. You were doing it all over the court. Outside early, a couple of deep threes, and then you were able to score a lot of transition baskets in the second half. Before we talk about kind of the game overall, you must have been feeling it early on. Yeah, I mean, my first jump shot went in today, and then – Coach holds me a shooter, so I just kept shooting. And then I went a little cold in the second half, so I started going inside to get my game back. And then I just outran their bigs because they were tired, and I got fast break layups. It just seemed as though when the defense was kind of cranked up and you guys were forcing turnovers, scoring in transition, that's when the lead really ballooned a couple of times in the first and the second half. Do you guys look to do that to really use your defense to get into transition? Yeah, I mean, Coach all along, is, he wanted us to buy into their ways, and he said the offense would come, we got scores, and as long as we do hard, go hard on defense, he said that we'll win games, and with all the numbers we have this year compared to last year, we got more numbers, so we always have fresh people coming in, so our defense, that's what won us the game today. And we saw in that first half a few of those uh, deeper threes, uh, us doing the radio broadcast. It's, it's fun to watch when a shooter gets going. Uh, you kind of can't get the ball fast enough. And at that point, what are you thinking when you've hit a couple in a row and you're pulling from all over the floor? Um, just take good shots, too. I mean, don't force shots up. Stay in the offense. And if I get the ball again and I'm open, just let it go. You get the first win at home. You know, last year you guys started on the road. We were, we were on the road for so long. How big is it to get this first one at home in front of the home crowd? It's a great confidence boost. I mean, we had a great crowd tonight. Student section was great. We had a big win over a team that's in a bigger conference than us. And now we just got to prepare and go off to Notre Dame for Monday. 
And now you mentioned it quickly, just to touch on that game. Monday night in South Bend against Notre Dame, it's a pretty big challenge. It's a great challenge for us. I mean, we played in North Carolina at Vanderbilt last year. Them gyms were louder and bigger than this one, so we're just going to go in with a good attitude. We had a good night tonight and just get ready for it. All right, congratulations on the win tonight. Good luck Monday against Notre Dame. Thank you. That's Andrew Nicholas. His 28 lead the way for the Hawks in a 91-62 win over Hofstra.